All right, guys, uh, when is it too soon to start uh, producing some merch? Probably a little too soon. We only have a few videos up. All right, welcome to another VX2 TV vlog. And guys, I'm sorry, there's not gonna be any hot babes in this vlog. This is just, this is the hot babe right here. This is what you're gonna be looking at. <laughs> and today we're gonna be talking about uh, Vista Print. I got this shirt here printed at Vista Print, oh, 2015. And as you can see, you know, I've worn it quite a bit and it's still in pretty good condition, so the quality of their stuff, you know, I can't say anything bad about it. And uh, recently I saw a sale and uh, they had everything 50% off, or one thing you order 50% off. So I ordered a few things for VX2 TV, and uh, I wanted to take a look at that with you guys. So here we go, we've got a hat. And I ordered a hoodie, and here I got some, some business cards for marketing the YouTube channel. And I know it's way too early for merch right now, but I figured, you know what, might as well start looking at a few things and just exploring options. So that's what this is all about. So let's open these guys up here and uh, check out the quality. Let's one handed this. Okay, so here's the hoodie. Do not iron. Okay, so that's not bad. See, I'll get a nice close up of that for you guys. Okay, let's open it up. Yeah, that logo seems a bit small. I had the logo printed from about here to here on the graphic, and then they told me it was too big and it might get cut off on the edges, but now I think that logo looks just a little too tiny. Because, you know, when you market your brand, you want your brand to be like big and loud and bold, and that's a tiny little logo on a big a big hoodie, so it just looks, looks out of place. Yeah, the print quality looks pretty good. Stretching the material. Doesn't seem to be falling apart. Seems to be a little bit, feels like a little rubbery, like it's gonna stretch with the material. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look at these business cards. So these are just simple business cards for the YouTube channel. This is youtube.com slash VX2TV, which, you know what? I changed my channel from um, Basque Obscure to VX2TV made or brand channel. So now this link doesn't work anymore. So that <laughs> that's on me. Hopefully, I'm not sure if I can, I think I can, put the custom URL in on a brand channel. If not, these business cards are kind of useless. But uh, in any case, just wanted to see the quality. These are just the basic matte business cards no special paper, no special anything, and uh, feel pretty good. Almost feels like a playing card material, a little less dense than a playing card. But uh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Works pretty good. I've had business cards printed with Vista print before. Let me show you those. All right, so this is for my Vasco Photography brand. This one's with the glossy cards with the, uh, the gold foil on them. These ones feel a little more dense, but I really like these ones. This is for my wedding work and my portrait and commercial photography. Those are nice. And then these are for my Studio V photography, my glamour brand. And these ones, <laughs> I put the foil on the outside of the card with the logo inside, so it's a bit of a, a reflector. You can use it to reflect some light at a photo shoot if you need a reflector. <laughs> Get six cards and mount them on a piece of cardboard becomes an effective reflector. You can kind of see me in there. But uh, yeah, these came out pretty cool. I was really happy with these. They really stand out. When I show these to clients, they're like, ooh. <laughs> so it's really uh, flashy. Let's take a look at the hat here. So this is one of their flex fit hats. And uh, see the stitching here. Stitching is decent. It's decent. It doesn't puff out. It doesn't have that uh, 
styrofoam underneath or anything it's just basic stitching embroidering I don't know what it's called exactly but uh, they match the uh, the edges of the logo pretty good you can see the logo has this distinct feature in the font and they got that in there but you can see here so I use the same graphic to upload images for the card the, the hoodie and the hat but you can see the hat looks a little bit orange so I noticed that I opened this actually uh, uh, four or five days ago and I noticed that and I contact Vista print I told them hey listen you know I ordered these things from you but the hat the color of the uh, the TV on the font isn't red and it's supposed to be red so what's up with that and Vista print their customer service is fantastic because a couple of days later they sent me a box they said they would correct a problem and ship it right back to me and they said uh, you can keep the old hats that don't work anymore or are bad and we'll ship you some new stuff so this is the new shipment that just arrived today so let's uh, let's take a look at that let's open that up That's looking a lot better right there. Okay, so they uh, they definitely fixed the problem. Look at that! Wow, so much better. So that's red. Nice. Okay, so kudos to Vista Print. I uh, I let them know what the issue was, and they shipped me some new hats, no extra charge. Okay, so happy with that, happy with Vista Print, happy with the quality. I mean, obviously, if you use the, I guess, the puff embroidering or puff stitching, whatever it's called, you would stand out a lot more. I didn't see that option on Vista Print. I wasn't looking for it at the time, but happy with that. Let's try it on. There we go. VX2 TV hats. Now we're not going to start selling merch or anything with VX2 TV yet because it's way too early. I think we only have, what do we have at the moment? What, 10 videos up on VX2 TV channel? We haven't even really built up a brand or a following yet. But, I mean, when you start a business, when you start working, you always look at the, uh, the future, right? Don't think about one day in the future. Think about six months in the future. Think about a year in the future. And that's where these fall in, right? Who knows, in a year from now, VX2 TV could be big, we could have a huge following, people could actually be interested in this stuff, or people will be interested in this stuff, because you gotta have that positive mindset, and uh, might as well be prepared for the future, right? So uh, yeah, that's that, happy with this, happy with that, and uh, this is a quick little vlog about Vista Print, and uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, we're gonna explore other options and other printing companies too, and uh, I'll make some videos on that as well, and then I guess I'll let you know which ones we, we decide to go with. You know, I'd hate to see a good hat go to waste. Let's give this a try. I think it worked. I think it worked, let's see. So that's the Sharpie hat on the right. That's the VX2 TV hat printed properly. All right, so now this vlog is over. Question is, which hat am I wearing right now? The Sharpie hat or the proper hat? What do you think?